Welcome to Indie Resources' fifth video on how to make a browser-based RTS. This is Halls of Valhalla. Um, I know the last video we kind of ended it abruptly, and it was only around 10 or 12 minutes, but I like to keep them around that time instead of expanding too long. Um, while I was waiting on that other upload to finish, I um, fixed a couple issues we had. One was with the chimney showing up down here on the image. That was just the image size problem. The other one was is whenever we built a, a tower, it would show up as a house. So you can see we, we fixed that too, so it all seems to be working right now. Um, to go where I left off, we were at save building. Um, basically, it's just like the git map, except for we're sending the map r, the the map row, the map column, um, the map x where it's at, the y, and the type of building it is. And we are sending that over to build building, and we're getting all this is is git getting the variables and then we're inserting in, into buildings the information so when we build the building it'll just insert in there and that's how the git map is getting so that's that's pretty simple for the most part some things I did change though and how I got that um, how I got this to work now to where this is dynamic because before it was just a static one image you click once and it starts over and it, it wasn't working right at all um, so what I did was is I added a couple things and if we go up here you'll notice that now that house is gone that whole set of code is gone I moved it um, and we'll just kinda start here whenever you sorry my mouse is goofing up whenever you build a building and now you're actually you're gonna the build GUI is gonna go up where the mouse and Y and X is um, then it's gonna show it and then we're gonna do this function save code save building which is what I just talked about it's just doing an Ajax going to the going to the server get get map.php and then it's saving that in the database and then we're actually gonna create the building and that's the new function if we go to create building you'll see down here we have counter I now I created a couple global variables mainly because I needed them and if anybody has any suggestions on how to make to get rid of the global varies I'm more to more than willing to put them in there it's just easier right now I mean this is y'all's game y'all can create it after you want after this but anyway I created that and then I created the house a new array for house and it's kinda of goofy named house because it can be anything but just for now you notice the array is empty there's not even any lines in there that's so what we have to do we're starting our first every time you click it's going to it's going to create the new building and it's going to make counter plus one so the first counter is going to be one we have to actually open that that array build that array out for every single time we click and instead of just doing a, a blanket of like let's say array hundred we don't need a hundred because every time you refresh that counter is going to start over it's not saving that counter in the database so it doesn't matter so there's no reason to to use memory you don't you don't need so push just opens that variable for us some more um, and then we come in, first one's going to be house one, it's going to create, the next one will be house two, and it's just creating an array and it's building the house. Um, we're setting the image, and we are setting the limits on the image, and then we're just like before, everything there is pretty much the same. I mean, other than I changed this to the mouse.x and y, which is about, about the same thing, and then I'm, turn, I'm turning the, the meter back down to zero because every time you create it it goes up to 50 it, it runs the code of okay stop but then it uh, then it stays at 50 so we have to actually start it over and you'll see whenever we click for a new one you see how it's all the way out real quick we, we'll fix that later but um, that's basically how I set that up and there's that's really all that's really it to this video I just wanted to kind of throw that in there and so now we kind of we've got our we've got to save it in the database the only thing we need to do now and if you notice by default it's you can't build I'm clicking right now you can't click over this it has to be within room now the only thing I don't like is how close you can build right there we may move that out and we still gotta fix this little deal right here which we will we will in the next video but for the most part it's working and we've got it started next video I want to kick into using of gold and lumber and uh and just remember to throw some suggestions